It's our story. Marna Ars, Denver, Colorado. That's one way of doing direct funding. In Colorado, when we um, passed family support legislation in 1991, the original idea was to have pretty much a cash subsidy. But um, that was an idea that never was implemented. By the time the legislation was written and the rules and regs were written in response to that, um, all sorts of bureaucratic structures were created to take the money first before families got it. Um, and right now, there's a group of us working on a co-op model thinking maybe if we have a bunch of people who have all sorts of experiences of disability, whether it's developmental disability or mental health issues or aging issues, if we could all form a co-op, we would have a lot of leverage then because we could be seen as a provider, but we would be so much more responsive to the people in the co-op because it would be run by the members. So that's another way I'm hoping that we can pull off getting money more directly to people. The It's Our Story Project is a national effort to make disability history public and accessible. Visit us at www.itsourstory.org or on the It's Our Story Project YouTube channel.